Hello everyone and welcome back. So this video we're gonna do a quick 3JS tutorial. It's just a beginner's tutorial so that you can build your very first 3JS application or website and then we're gonna deploy it on GitHub pages. So here is the final product. I have this rotating box over here that is on the web. So this link you can access it also and this is what we're gonna do and this is gonna only include a few lines of HTML, CSS, mostly JavaScript file but we're gonna set up your kind of like a boilerplate what you need to build any kind of 3JS application and this is just like a very minimum application just with one 3D object that's rotating all the time so without further ado, let's get started. First thing we're gonna do, we're gonna set up our file and folder structure. I'm inside my project folder called code. I'm gonna add index.html file. And then also I'll be adding style.css file over here. For JavaScript, I'm gonna create a folder, JS folder. And then inside there, I will have my index.js. And I'm also going to add the 3JS JavaScript file. To get that, all you need to do is to go to this link under 3JS documentation. And then I'll put the link in the description box below. Click on 3JS and it's going to open this window for it, this tab for you. All you need to do is right click and do save as and it's going to save it for you. I have already saved it here and so I'm going to bring that over in my JS file folder. Here I have the 3.js file that I just uh, downloaded under my JS folder. So we don't uh, need this. Uh, just we are not going to change anything inside. We're going to use it though in our index.html. I'm going to create uh, the boilerplate, the HTML boilerplate. You could type HTML and then select HTML5 in VS Code. All we need to do in this head section, we can change this. My first 3JS website. And then for the CSS file, we need to link to our style.css that we have. That's that. And then in the body, all we need to do is to add a div with an ID of whatever you want to use. I'm using 3JS Canvas. This will be what I will be using to uh, use uh, in my index.js file to add my scene and everything else. We need to bring our scripts. So first we need to bring the 3.js file because we will be using that in our index.js file and then we need to bring index.js so this order matters make sure to bring 3js first and then index.js and then save this that's all we needed in our index.html for our styling i'm going to reset some of the styling in my document and then also for my body i prefer the background of kind of like a dark color there for our 3js canvas all we need to do is make it a fixed and make it cover all the uh, viewports. So I have 10, 100 viewport height and 100% width. That's all we need. The rest is going to happen in our index.js file. First thing we're going to do, we're going to set up our canvas. We need to grab our 3JS canvas element and then we're going to define our width and height which is going to be the offset width and offset height of that canvas element. And the next thing we do is to set our scene and camera. Again, we are using 3.scene here. For our camera, I'm using perspective camera, field of view of 70, and then our aspect ratio, near and far and setting our camera at 10 10 10 and then making sure it's looking at the center of the scene 
next step is to add our renderer and set it up basically using three webgeo render here and then the size is gonna be the width and height that we got from up here make sure the pixel ratio is maximum two just for performance so it's gonna be if your device pixel ratio is greater than two it's gonna be two if it's lower than two it will be that so probably either one or two in most devices and then we're gonna append that to our 3js canvas now what we need to do here is to create a loop that causes the renderer to draw the scene every time the screen is refreshed and uh, that's on a typical screen like 60 times per second so we're going to define an update function to take care of that. So we are going to define our function, update function here to set up our render, that render with the scene and camera and then create that loop with the request animation frame. And then what we're going to do, we're going to obviously have to call this function. So I'm going to call it over here and that's basically our uh, setup very basic setup we can add a box to the screen for example to our scene and I'm gonna do it right here I have my geometry box geometry and then for material just using basic material with color of cyan and then uh, I'm defining my mesh using the geometry material and then don't forget to add that box to the scene so if I save it right now we're gonna use the VS code extension of live server if I click live ser server go live over here it's gonna open Chrome window like a tab over here and as you see it has my um, cube in here let's inspect we shouldn't see any errors here in console so it's good the one problem that we have is that it's not responsive when we resize so we're gonna take care of that right now and for that I'm just gonna do a window event listener for resize so let's do that over here and then for my actual function I need to take care of my renderer and my camera when the resize happens so we're gonna have new width and height because our 3JS canvas width and height is gonna change when we resize. Height probably not that much, but it depends. You might change the height as well. And then make sure to set the size for renderer. And then of course for the camera, we need to set the aspect ratio and then make sure to use this update uh, project ma projection ma matrix to make sure that everything gets updated on your camera so with that being said if we go back to our local host basically here and I change the size of the screen you can see that this box over here is actually staying in the middle of the screen which is what we need now to make it a little bit more exciting what we can do is to make this box rotate all the time and to do that all we need to do is to add a rotation z and y or whatever you could do x just y just d or combine all of these you can play with these numbers of course right now i have uh, 0 0.05 for z and then 0 0.01 for y and this is what's happening so this is what we needed to do in the dev environment and we are now ready to push it on github and then put it on the github pages all right now we're gonna init this git repository here so i'm gonna do git init while you're in the folder project folder so everything is initialized i'm gonna go to github over here creating a new repository i'm gonna call it my first 3JS app or website 
and then you can like add description everything and then create repository that's all you need at this stage the next thing we need to do in terminal you just do git add and space dash a to stage everything and then just copy this whole thing I will add readme also to it later so you'll see that readme when you look check out the github page but uh, right now we're just gonna do very basics and then I'm gonna enter and now I have everything if I refresh this page I have my code over here my index my styles and everything and my JavaScript over here I'm gonna go to settings pages over here and then my branch is gonna be main and then save it so you need to wait for a couple of minutes and then refresh the page and github pages over here you'll see a link appear here and that is going to be where your website is so if you click on your visit site you should see your application your website over here it's live now it's an actual website you can share with anyone and then console looks good everything is fine and that's about it that's how you build your first 3.js website and then deploy it on the web if you like this video make sure to hit the like button below and also don't forget to subscribe to the channel and share this video with people thank you everyone and i'll see you guys soon